the largest sundial in the southern hemisphere. It points directly at the southern celestial pole and completely demolishes the flat earth. Hey there. I've been doing a bit of research lately, trying to find the nearest sundial to me so I can do some testing with it. And I found a couple hours drive west of me, on virtually the same latitude, the largest sundial in the southern hemisphere. This thing is a monument. I didn't even know it was there. It's absolutely magnificent. I haven't been to visit it yet, so all the photos and footage I'll show in this video isn't mine. The sundial is polar aligned to the Earth's axis, as stated here in this information board, which is next to the sundial. It says, The gnomon, which is the pointer that creates the shadow. The gnomon points to the south celestial pole and is parallel to the Earth's axis. And there's also some corrections to compensate for the sun's elliptical and inclined path throughout the year. Because the Earth is fucking tilted and orbits around the Sun, you flat Earth fucking morons. Hmm, I wonder if I can add that when I visit there. The latest pictures I've seen of it, it's actually, it looks like it's uh, been vandalized a bit, so maybe there's some local flat Earthers that don't like it. <laughs> but, because the sundial is aligned to the Earth's axis, we can have a bit of fun with it. I took this screenshot using Google Earth Street View. I got it as perpendicular as I could to the main structure of the sundial. And seeing as the pointer is parallel to the Earth's axis, we can then align it to the Earth's axis in a vertical orientation, like this. And then if we bring in a globe with the same vertical orientation, mark the latitude of the sundial, 32 degrees south, show where the horizon or the level ground of that latitude is and look at that it matches the base of the sundial what the fuck? <laughs> in order for this type of sundial to work correctly the gnomon has to be aligned to the earth's axis at the corresponding latitude in the northern hemisphere it needs to be pointed to the northern celestial pole or polaris in the southern hemisphere, it needs to be pointed at the southern celestial pole. Sundials that aren't polar aligned can still be used, but they won't be nearly as accurate throughout the year. I do plan on visiting it, of course. I'd love to do a time lapse of the sun setting behind it from this angle, and also a time lapse of the night sky from the base here, with the camera pointed up at the celestial pole, with the gnomon pointed right at the southern pole i reckon that would be really cool a huge thanks to the channel bonnie and the chief motorcycle adventures for their use of the drone footage it was very helpful and there's a link in the description so go and check them out definitely give the video a like and if it's something you're into don't forget to subscribe thanks heaps for watching this video thank you for liking watching commenting and subscribing all that stuff i really do appreciate it and never forget to kindly tell all the morons to sit on a sundial and rotate see ya